Why you visit Serbia, Englishman? This is the question I get asked a lot in Serbia. I'm just making my way down to Nabojša or Nabojša Fortress, which is the oldest fortress near Kalamagdan, which I'm now making my way down these steps. I was here last time, uh, two years ago, couldn't get down these steps because it was snowing and I was going to break my neck. So I just wanted to see the oldest part near the fortress, which dates back to the 1400s. Those who've been following my channel know I've been doing a lot of sports of late. So I wanted to do something a little different, just explain why I'm here, why I chose Serbia, and also talk a little bit about myself as well. I've got to say also again, I'm on a permanent hangover in Belgrade. The sleeve of it is killing me. So I thought a nice little brisk walk in the park, that will sort me right out. Anyway, going on to why I'm in Serbia and why I chose Serbia. About two years ago, I was looking to travel to a country when the lockdown was happening, COVID. And I was looking at the countries around which uh, were open at the time. And for me, choosing a country, you have to have some kind of interest in going to that country. And for me, choosing Serbia was a no-brainer. Obviously, the sports element here, that really attracted me. But that's a different video for a different day, which I'll go into more detail about. But yes, so I arrived in Serbia two years ago. I shot a lot of films. People who follow me already have seen these, but I'll leave a playlist at the end of this video for you to check out if you haven't seen those videos already. I really recommend you check out that playlist if you're looking to visit Serbia. Because a few of my subscribers have told me they actually watch my videos and that made the choice for them. They thought, yes, I've got to check this country out. The Kalamegdan Fortress itself, which I'm walking next to, is right next to the Danube River. I've said the Danube, that's for Catherine and Paul. They love the way I say that. Sometimes my pronunciation of Serbian words, yeah, it's, it's not the best. But I'm getting there slowly and surely, I think. Anyway, what's my obsession with Serbia? What do I love about Serbia? Well, first and foremost, it's the people. I've got to say, the welcome that I've received since I've been here has been truly humbling. I've been to a few countries in the world, but I've got to say, Serbian hospitality, it's absolutely amazing. And if you choose to visit Serbia, you'll have the same experience as me and you'll fall in love with this country too. Yeah, going back onto about people, I always feel that people make places. I've been to beaches in the world which have been absolutely stunning. I've been to certain other cities, countries, and for me, it's all about the people. What I'm trying to say is you can be in the best place in the world but if the people don't gravitate to you, don't socialise with you, warm to you, then that can be a problem. But here you'll make some good friends, trust me. And for me, that's what it's all about. Okay, what else do I like about Serbia? Now, I've also done some food videos. I'm all about the barbecue. Here, if you're a vegetarian, yes, you can get vegetarian meals, but it's all about the barbecue. Burgers here are like no other burger ever tried. You've also got the chivapi, which is similar to a burger. You've got sarma, which I've tried, which is a very good meal. And I have to say, the ingredients here are so fresh, so good, and the chefs in most of the restaurants, they know what they're doing. Whereas in England, okay, we've got fish and chips. Uh, what else we got? English breakfast, that's okay. Uh, Sunday dinner, which is a roast dinner. But here, yes, you'll get a very good meal and you won't go hungry. You'll also probably put a bit of weight on, so I suggest you bring your running gear with you, get running and get that fat off. You'll also find in Belgrade and other cities in Serbia, world cuisine also. I mean, last night I had Cuban food for the first time and it was great. I also see a lot of Chinese food here, which I love, which I'm gonna try, so I look forward to that too. But yet yeah, the food here, it's world class. Highly, highly recommend it. I said earlier about the sports, that's another thing I love about Serbia. I've had some experiences so far where I've shot some videos, I've been to Partizan Belgrade, I've seen the basketball, I've seen the football, <sighs> absolutely mind blowing. You need to check out the sports here, but you're probably spending more time watching the fans than the sports. It's an amazing experience. Okay, a little bit about myself for people who don't know me. I'm from Birmingham, which is the second largest city in England. We're known as the Brummies. We speak strange. It's the home of the Peaky Blinders and Ozzy Osbourne. It's a very cool city. People are very friendly. It's a gritty working class town. It's got two football teams, Birmingham City and Aston Villa. We've had a lot of Serbian players come over to England and play. It's always good to see. Obviously the main man, Mitro Mitrovic, 
he's on fire at the moment. Very much looking forward to seeing him in the World Cup in action. I think he's going to get a boatload of goals, fingers crossed. My interests are obviously sports, uh, travel, also music. I'm big into my music. I used to play guitar, write songs and sing. I've got a few videos up on YouTube. If you want to see them, let me know. I'll uh, give you the link. I've got to say also, I love the music here. They have a festival, I think, September time. And it's all with the trumpets and the horns and a lot of people go out drinking. Wasn't here for the festival this year, but maybe another time. We'd definitely like to check that one out. People who know me know I'm a sociable person. Where I lived previously was a small town on the edge of Birmingham. Like I say, I'm originally from Birmingham. I was born there, but I lived in a small town. The town had very good people there, you know, some of the best people, but the social aspect, because it was a small town, was very quiet. So coming to Belgrade and Serbia, it's, it's really good because I can open the door and there's life everywhere. And that suits me fine because, you know, I like to drink. I'm going to be in Serbia for the next two months. I leave January the 2nd and then I'll go to another country which is close by, which is visited by a lot of Serbian people and there's also brotherhoods with the Serbian people over to this country which I'm going to. But all will be explained further down the line, so keep following me and you'll find out where I'm going to go next in January. I'm excited to visit this new country in January. I've never been to the part I'm going to. Also, I definitely want to check out more of the Balkans because I think this region is very special. A few people from back home have been messaging me about my videos, also my dad. Uh, they've all been saying, you know, what great videos and they want to check out this country. Hopefully a few more tourists will see my videos and they'll see what I see and they'll think to self, you know what, I'm going to Serbia to check out this wonderful country with its lovely people. Okay, the video is coming to an end. It's short and sweet, but I just want to sign off by saying, if you're thinking of coming to this country, then I highly, highly suggest you do because you'll see some amazing things. Wonderful architecture, lots of history, great nightlife, sports, food, so many more things as well. You definitely, definitely need to check this great country out. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you, Serbia and the Serbian people for the warmest of welcomes that you've given me. Words can I express the love that I have for this beautiful country. If you want to keep up to date with my Serbian escapades or you want to message me, you can reach me on Instagram at Bermsey. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, if you see me out and about, always say hello. It's good to connect with people. And as always, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Jivali.